Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Julian Fish Academy. Now, I had a fish farmer who approached me five months ago that he wanted to start fish farming, that I should put him through. Luckily enough, his pond was just very close to my pond. So we had all the opportunities to rub mines together and I was able to train him to the level where he could have very little level of mortality. Now, he wanted to start with 500 juveniles and he had just a 2,000 liters capacity pond, just two ponds, one 1,000, the other one 1,000, so that's 2,000. But I told him that uh, this 2,000 liters capacity pond cannot train 500 for you in a healthy manner. If you train 500 in a 2,000 liters capacity pond, that is called overstocking. And he was like, well, since it is my first time, let me just use it for experiments. After all, you are here to guide me. I said, okay, no, fine, no problem. Let's go ahead and run it. Now, throughout the five period of, uh, throughout the five months he has been into the system, I've been giving him feedback, training him on what to do. You're having mortality in your farm, see what to do. This is happening to your farm. Take it like this, do it like that, and things will go just fine. Now, for this period of five months, he lost about a total of uh, 47 fish out of 500. And that is an amazing record for a first timer, you know. And of course, that was because I was there to guide him throughout the farming system. That is why his motility level was that low. Trust me, I was there to guide him. In my own time, when I started, I started with 300 fish. Yes, 300 fish, and I lost more than 70% of my fish farm. If you calculate the percentage loss, he lost just a total of 47 fish, which is even less than 10% of the total capacity he was training. And it's an amazing record for him. As for me as a starter, I lost more than 70%. If you wear my shoe, you will feel like, come on, the farming system is useless. <laughs> you will jump out of the farming system if you pass through the hell I passed through in the course of learning catfish farming. And that is why I have this channel where I share my experiences, but let me not deviate to where I'm going to. His mortality rate was just 47 for a period of five months. And so he had a total of 453 fish to sell. Now, these farmers came from outside to buy from him. And of course, they came with their own um, weighing balance. Don't trust external people when it comes to using weight balance because they will frustrate you. They came with their weight balance. Their weight balance, in most cases, they are calibrated in a way to favor them and disfavor you, the farmer. They have discalibrated their own way balance such that you are ready to lose in any circumstance. They cheat you and walk away. And so, but if you are not smart, you won't be able to detect that. So they came with their weighing balance, and before you know it, they weigh the entire fish about five or four hundred and forty uh, four hundred and uh, fifty-three fish, and they establish a weight of about three hundred and forty kg. Now they sell in different sizes. When it's one point, one kg and above, they will tell you that the cost per unit kg is 950. When it is uh, 500 grams, the cost per unit kg is 700. So we weigh them into different bowls and then place them on the weigh balance. And a total of uh, 340 kg was generated. Now this man invested a hundred, between 160 to 170,000 for feeding. And as a fish farmer, you're expected to make nothing less than times two of that investment. At least times two. If you're investing a hundred thousand, you should get two hundred thousand at the end of the day. That's the minimum you should get after your first, after your generation of training of of, tra of training your fish to table size. Minimum of hundred percent. Now he actually went through the system. Let's assume he invested a hundred and twenty, sorry, a hundred and sixty, because he said it's not sure between one sixty and one seventy. That means at the end of his five months of farming, he is expected to make times two of 160,000 and times two of 160,000 is 320,000 naira. But these guys came and weighed everything and left, paid him 283,000 naira. And that's shortage. And if you calculate that very well, that's about 60% or 70% profit. And that's quite poor. For a farmer that has labored for a period of five months 60 percent is quite poor now watch what happened these guys come with their weighing balance for every one kg you drop on that weigh balance that they come with you lose 100 grams how did i know i placed one kg worth of fish on my weigh balance it was showing one kg i placed 
in the other person's weigh balance, which are the people that came to buy now, and it was weighing 900 grams. Now, the 900 grams you're talking about may look at, it's almost the same, so one can overlook it. No, they're not the same. When the person is clearing your pot, they are not the same. This guy actually came with his own weigh balance that has been discalibrated to favor him, and he has been collecting 100 grams for every one kg of fish you put on that scale. Now tell me, every one kg he collects 100 grams, that means in 10 kg, how many grams do you think he's going to collect? He's collecting one kilo from you, unknown to you. For every 20 kg worth of fish you put on his weight balance, he collects 2 kg from you. For every 50 kg worth of fish you put on that weight balance, he collects 5 kg from you without you knowing. For every 100 kg worth of fish, you lose 10 kg into their hands without knowing. For every 200 kg, you lose 20 kg into their hands. Now imagine a total of 340 kg as they said. How many kg has he lost to your hands? He lost about 34 kg worth of fish. And that's big money. He started with 100 grams. Very little amount. Very negligible. But sorry, when it is time to clear your pawn, it is not negligible. It will draw and sink into your profit and you'll feel so disappointed at the end of the day. Now let's do the mathematics. He spent 160,000 and he was paid 200 and, uh, 280,000. It is not up to times two. For it to be times two, he's expected to receive 320,000. So about 50,000, um, is it 50? About 40,000 naira is lost into the market. Now, they claim that the total fish pond is 340 kg. Of course, we know that secretly 30, 40, uh, 34 kg left into their own pocket. Now, add the 34 kg to it and calculate how much it will cost. According to the National Association of Catfish Farmers, Nigeria, one kg worth of fish costs 1,200. Multiply 1,200 times 34 kg. Tell me how much it will give you. That amount of money, add 1,200 times 34 to the 280,000 naira that they paid him, and you discover that the money is running into 220 or 230, sorry, 330,000 between 320 to 230,000. That is where the money is falling into, which that fish farmer ought to have gotten there because he did not have this knowledge. They came and wallowed away with his money. As a fish farmer, you are expected to make nothing less than 10%, I say 10, nothing less than 100% of your investment at the end of one full set of your fish training. It is just the fact. Failure to end that is either you have lost money through these guys or your fish actually is not well bred and at the end of the result you spend more money feeding them and you have little result. There are a lot of things that can cause that but I'm just talking about one part from women that comes with their discalibrated form of weighing balance just to come and eat your money and go so that you outside there will be aware of what is going on and you know how to curtail them whenever they come. And so the best thing you have to do as a fish farmer, get all your machineries in place. And by the time you do that, trust me, nobody will come and mesmerize you and go cut free. It is not possible. They came to me, I purposely decided to check their weight balance. It was not in accordance with my weight balance. And I disagreed that they would not use their weight balance to sell for me. I am the fish farmer. I am the one that trained them. And I detect whosoever, whatsoever weight balance that should be used to measure my fish. Why will my way balance give me something and your way balance is giving you something else and you're expecting me to follow your own? Things are not done that way. So you as a fish farmer out there or a potential fish farmer out there, take note of this fact so that you don't run at a loss. Many farmers have fallen out of the farming system just because they say that the farming system has no profit. That after a period of five months, six months that you've trained, very little amount comes in. These are one of the reasons. These are one of the reasons. Get your machineries in place. Use your way balance and nobody will cheat you. And you must make 100% of your investment within a period of four or five. That's the minimum. People make 200% of their investment. That's it. It's very possible. So nobody should dig into the 100% that is meant for you. And by the time you are able to detect that and, and circumference that in your mind, then 
the sky is your starting point. Thank you for watching. This is Julian Fish Academy. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do well to click that subscription button. We have a whole lot of videos for you. They will help you. They will train you. If you're a potential farmer, if you're already in the system, they will help you grow and grow even far more better than the status you are right now. Thanks for watching. This is Julian Fish Academy. Boom.